and I'm, I'm the helping hands. Today I'm doing going to do a very basic gardening um, video with the leaves listing room. Okay, now I'm not expert in gardening, as you'll soon pick that up, but I've got some instructions here. I think if we follow them, we get a real nice harvest out what we've put in. First of all, no matter where you live, you can have flowers anywhere. I've got a nice easy little kit here, it's all in one kit here. Yep. And all I'm going to do is open this bag. some compost like that. This is peat feed compost by the way. We've got to keep our peat box so make sure any compost you do buy is peat free. Okay. Breaking these lumps up in it so it's formed naturally. Spread it out quite evenly along the tub. Get some water. Taste of it in. And I'm going to get quite a bit of a soak. Okay. Towel. And mix it in. Oops. As I said, I ain't no expert. Now you see, we're going to need quite a lot of water for this. Very, very dry. Like making a mud pie when you were a kid. Just clear some of this mess up. Garden, don't be afraid of getting your fingers dirty. Okay, so that is nice and damp. Make sure there's no dry bits in there, no clumps. You can get these kits from Moss anywhere, there's loads of places, loads available. Making sure that we're getting all nice and moist if we'll put any sort of seeds in at all. Now, I've gone for stuff here that can be really fragrant in the room. Yeah, so. Beautiful, eh? <laughs> so all I've done, put some water into that nice peaty soil, oh, sorry, peat free soil, all right? there now it's nice and even so the first one we're putting is oregano oregano smells beautiful right in a room it's a beautiful scent to it so what i'm going to do is split that into thirds now you don't have to be too precise with these at all but all i'm going to do is get a nice even sprinkling. The second one I've chosen is lavender. Who doesn't like the smell of lavender? And again, don't need to be too precise with these at all. Just make sure that they're well spaced out. And just sprinkling them in. The third one that I chose is thyme. Yeah? You get a very beautiful earthy smell with thyme. So these three fragrances, when combined together, are going to smell absolutely gorgeous in the room. So 
So this is going to go on the windowsill in a minute. Let's let you see. All we've done so far, emptied nine tenths of that out. All right, so left them in there still. Sprinkle the seats nice and evenly. And now, what I'm going to do, cover them up to the remainder of the soil. Take some of these lumps up that have already formed naturally. And again, tight, not a lot of water on this because the bottom bit's quite damp. So I just want to put some more on the top. You see, we're not putting loads in. That's enough. Now it's a bit late in the year to be planting these really, should have been done back in March but with the horrible weather we've been having, it's been so frosty, I thought I'd wait. So that now is ready, we'll go under my wind cell and in a few weeks time we'll start to see some shoots growing up. We'll pick the best ones out of that and we'll plant them in, in their own plant pots and the rest we'll take outside and plant outside. The ones we keep inside again we'll put on the wind cell, they'll grow nice and big and the smells will be beautiful. So I'm just going to put some of the windsill on now. And again, we need to make sure it's a nice sunny windsill. We want to get a lot of heat on these. So there we go. That's the first one done. And you're going to get your hands bucky lads. Get used to that idea. You're going to get your hands bucky doing gardening. Alright? It's a simple fact of life. So what I'm going to do now. You don't just have to have herbs and flowers growing in a flower garden, you just have to put vegetables in as well. Now what I've got in the bottom of this, got some bit of soil already, and I've got some drainage in there. So just some old bits of brick, that's all it is. Yeah, and the reason we put drainage in, we've got the roots of the plants to be in the water at all times. Alright? So, you now our trusty fell. Put some more in. Nice even cut. Oops, I'll back you up in a minute. And this is just to give the plants a nice start. Give a bit of Bond to in there. Yep. And that's all we need. Nice shallow coat like that. The first ones I'm going to put in, so these are red cabbages. Yep. Gently pull them out and separate. You can see the roots have gone, they've merged. Yep. Put them in. I just need to make that a bit deeper soil when it's put them in. So when you're in compost or soil you can use, make sure it's peat free lads. You want to make sure that we're not disturbing the peat bogs any more than we have to do. The peat bogs are really good for our environment. They take a lot of CO2 out of the atmosphere. So destroying them is not a good idea. <coughs> okay, probably enough. Little home, little we hands, just settle them in.
And in there, I'm also going to put some swede. Love swede. Fantastic vegetable. So gently pull them out. Like that. I'm going to put a couple in here. And the rest I'm going to plant outside. I want to give these a start inside. Okay. Again, time the little days to put them in. And the last one I'm going to put in there, oops, sorry, the last one I'm going to put in there is this baby. Okay. Now this garlic chives. These are absolutely gorgeous. Right? And they'll keep on going time to time. So once they've started to take, get your scissors, cut some off, and leave it. Again, you can do it time and time and time, and these are beautiful. And cooked, these are absolutely gorgeous. So these, you can move up there a bit more, plant it in there like that. You can plant that bit there, a bit deeper, that's better. Okay, a bit more muck. Get some more muck on these. Okay, like that. Shakes up everywhere. And eventually, guys, you're going to have your own little vegetable pot. If you like me and like your veg, this is a great idea. And then you don't have to have a garden for this, you can do it like I'm doing it in these. Put them on your windowsill. down and support your plants. Put this in here. Firm it down, but we're not pressing a lot, just firm it down a little bit on top. That's it, job done. That's how simple it is. All right. What we do need to put in here now is some water. And these have to keep on watering quite regularly just to keep them moist. Watering, guys. Mm, it's going to go up in the sill, so it's going to get warm there. Evaporation is going to happen. Okay, that's that. So, I'm just going to show you what we're put on now, and you'll see it's getting back to sunlight at all times. Let's take it from the desk. And with this, like that, okay? And this bar is actually great because this, if I put them like that, it'll just give them a bit extra support to go nice and straight is what I'm after, yeah? That is going to get direct sunlight, it's going to be beautiful for it. In a few weeks, we'll see them really start to take off. I'm just going to get a bit more water. So 
So the sun's come out now. You see, guys, I made a bit of mess. So what? Cleans up. What I'm going to do now is going to plant a few herbs that I like. All right, a few herbs that I like to put in food as I'm cooking. Get these out of the way. Again, I'll put them outside and I'll plant them. I'll plant them straight outside. So first of all then, get your container and put some muck in it. Like I said guys, peat free, do it especially because I don't want to do any damage to peat, bugs or anything. It's so important for our environment and we're just beginning to realise how important they are. Okay, then look in there. Now these, this is celery leaf, yeah? It's a gorgeous herb. Cut it, cut its leaves into stews, sauces, all sorts of different things. Okay, so with this, a bit of squeeze on the pot to get it out. You want to plant it the same depth as a pot, more or less. So that's why I've chose these old wood planters that we had. Down there, and on the other side, horseradish. Yeah, love horseradish. Absolutely gorgeous. A peppery taste to it. It's beautiful. So put that on the other side. Put a bit of muck on there. Nice and covered up. Same with this celery leaf. Okay, put in there now. We've got celery leaf, celery leaf, and the horseradish. Put the little markers in so you remember what they are. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to tell when you're eating them, but you never know. And again with these, good watering. Okay, that's them done. And these, when they grow, they're absolutely beautiful in your food. Horseradish, love horseradish, best of times, beautiful. And tell the leaves, like I said, cut the leaves off that as many times as you want, put it in your stews, put it in soup. Mwah, gorgeous. So, with this, again, we'll put it on a windowsill. That's them done. All good now. I'm going to rinse and repeat but with different herbs. And not just herbs, you can put all you want in these. These are small bits of wood laying around, burn them together, and done for what we want. Perfect for what we need. So, again, the muck in there. Good idea to always wear clothes not bothered to get dirty about because if you're gardening, you're going to get dirty. There's no other than that. What we're going to put in here are cauliflowers. Now, these are my favourite veg. So take them out nice and gentle. Space them out a bit because they're going to need some room. And some of these, again, I'm going to put outside. But for the sake of video, I just want to show you that you can put them inside and they're going to go beautifully. So split them like that. 
Number three in there, that'll be enough. Those all plant outside, we'll put that on. A bit more muck. Move it down as you're doing it. So that's a these you can put in your garden, you can put in your window boxes. You are not just stuck with one thing. Even if you live in a flat, there's no excuse not to have summer growing in your window box. Okay, a bit more water. Again, let's put this up with itself now. This is these guys I'm going to put outside. Uh, we've got some planters there ready. I'm just going to take them out in a minute too, put them outside, and let's see how well they grow. Um, okay, guys, that's it for today. These I'm going to put outside, I've just said, they'll look great, put them in the planters, in a few months, we'll have beautiful vegetables that are growing. So, my name's Mick, I work at Amnell Penance, I work for the Listening Room Project, and I'd like to say, look forward to welcoming you back when we start doing some more stuff to plant. Thank you very much.